Lieutenant Commander, United States Navy, arriving. Color Guard, parade the colors. Color Guard, Ready, two, forward, march. Left wheel, march. Commander Anchanta E. Jenkins, Medical Corps, United States Navy. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Commander Jenkins, wife of Mr. Benjamin Jenkins, mother of Marcus, age 10, and Elizabeth, age 5. And if I forgot any family members, I apologize for that. Anchanta, for those of you who remember your high school French, comes from the word Enchanté, which is an adjective that translates nice to meet you, or in English, enchanted. So today we honor Lieutenant Commander Jenkins' career and life through interviews with family and friends who know her well. I had to do some background research while I was on travel this past week in North Carolina, which showed me the unique Southern charm and culture which is integral to the character and personality of Lieutenant Commander Jenkins we see today. But in keeping with the tradition of the Navy, I would divide this into three categories and use ships as a metaphor. Now let us begin. As an aside, I did get some tissue for the commander in case she breaks down. We'll start with the first word that applies to her, and that's worship. As fitting in this post Mother's Day celebration, let us start at the beginning of this unique journey to where we are today. Born in July 1972, to Ms. Fanny Mae Davis and Mr. David Murphy, an Army veteran, who passed away in Dr. Jenkins' second year of medical school. Anchanta was a quiet child who grew up in a family based on Christian faith. The Jenkins family is filled with ministers and evangelists in which life revolves around Christianity. The family not just went to church, but they practiced Christianity through their Baptist religion on a daily basis. This is an essential part of Lieutenant Commander Jenkins' background which defines her core values. In the words of Sojourner Truth, when I got religion, I found some work to do benefit somebody. The Jenkins family Christianity was a regular theme in the household, no matter how difficult times were in the post-civil rights period of the 1970s. Let's go back in time to North Carolina, when uh, Lieutenant Commander Jenkins was a small child. At that time, Harry Golden, a civil rights activist, author, and journalist, used his paper newspaper promote racial equality. Kellyanne Alexander, civil rights activist and leader of the local NAACP chapter. W. Johnson Roundtree, who served the and winning a landmark case uh, ending se segregation. If not enough, she became an Odern minister, ordained minister in the African Methodist Episcopalian Church leading the civil rights in North Carolina. Dolores Maxine Hunter, or Huntley, an opponent segregation, Dorothy Count Soggins, at the age of 15, attended Harding High School in Charlotte, North Carolina, wearing a lovely dress made by her mother. But at the end of that day, she was surrounded by bullies 
and rock-throwing boys, with their family's life threatened until they were forced to withdraw from school. Yet, like Dr. Jenkins, their Christian faith gave them the strength to survive in these very difficult times. So it was mom who drew upon her strength and character and faith who stressed education, and I'm going to say Enchante's two sisters, Felicia and Toya, and her brother David. Her mom says Aunt Enchanta was a shy girl who would hold onto her leg in front of strangers, or she was a four-year tour at Cherry Point, then a three-year tour at Naval Hospital Okinawa, Japan, as the GYN division officer, or DIVO, where she met became lifelong friends with Christy Cummings, a PhD microbiologist at Community College San Marcos, who is also from North Carolina. Christy remembers many holiday celebrations, especially when Fannie Mae came to visit the mom. Christy had to remind Lieutenant Commander Jenkins to put up a Christmas tree for mom as they celebrate the holidays together. Christy was there with her husband to remind Dr. Jenkins to put away the popcorn and eat healthy even during her pregnancy. Of course, that did not include shopping at the local commissary to make the North Carolina soul food. And Christy's husband, Joe, was there for physical fitness training for her twice yearly PT test. But that's not all, folks. A three-year tour in Sigonel as OBGYN department head, chair of ethics committee, perinatal advisory board, P&T committee, SME for government plaintiff counsel, then orders to Naval Hospital of Guam as department chair were interrupted in August 2013 due to an EFM program in which her loving husband became the full-time giver while Dr. Jenkins worked days, nights, and weekends in 24-hour call delivering babies, performing surgeries, and teaching residents, followed by orders to Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton as the Assistant Department Head of OBGYN, Chair of the Perinatal Advisory Board, member of the P&T Committee, and OBGYN Expert Physician for Government Defense Council, involved in Secondary Suicide Prevention Coordinator, member of Navy Medicine West Regional Postpartum Hemorrhage Quality Collaborative. But wait, there's even more. But throughout her career, Lieutenant Commander Jenkins maintained her North Carolina roots and surgical clinical skills, providing OBGYN services at Vida and Duplin Hospital, Chowan Hospital, locum tenants at St. Vincent's Hospital, Indiana, Henry County Hospital, Newcastle, Indiana, Union Hospital, and now it's Grips Mercy Chula Vista Hospital, where she is on call for the No Care Coverage Program. So during this military career advancement, Lieutenant Commander Jenkins stayed true to her family values of spirituality, now merged with her skills of healing. Together, her Christian beliefs and nurturing through her health, through health care, has created the real Dr. Enchanta Jenkins, who embodies her care for mothers, dads, and most importantly, children. This defines the one word that is true to nature, that's authenticity, and some people on interviews said she's genuine and her value to military medicine. Yes, as a Navy officer, now get ready, you follow in the footsteps from John Paul Jones, Chester Nimitz, Ollie Bark, Michael Mullen, and Michelle Howard, the first African American first or woman to serve as Vice Chief of Naval Operations. You guys know her as the commander of the Anti-Piracy Task Force who rescued Captain uh, Phillips. One does not have to be a famous public celebrity in front of cameras or social media. These leaders have affected our lives by protecting our freedom and national security by their decisions at the highest level. However, Lieutenant Commander Jenkins affected hundreds, if not thousands of families of sailors, Marines, airmen, and soldiers as a staff physician, naval officer working every other uh, weekend, 36 hour shifts, and long holidays. As a physician, Dr. Jenkins had delivered life in this world, performed complicated surgeries, resuscitate babies, while at the other end of the spectrum, she had tears as she informed a young woman about her terminal ovarian cancer, deliver a stillborn while preserving the life of the mom. So you tell me, or so you tell me, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Commander Jenkins is not in the same category as these naval warriors? Yes, she is. A warrior not on the battlefield, but in the operating room. Saving and preserving lives from time delivery into the NICU, the PICU, the ICU. The decisions made in that operating room affects everyone in this audience. These are the babies, the children, the mothers, the fathers, the brothers, sisters, aunts, and uncles, all connected directly or indirectly to Lieutenant Commander Jenkins. 
as those who are alive and healthy today and functioning in our national interests. But all through this military journey, Lieutenant Commander Jenkins put on a nurturing hat by providing her physician skills as a volunteer in Ghana under the guidance of Miss Anita Mama Day, Nurse Corps Captain Retired. Here, Dr. Jenkins, on her own dime and time, traveled to Ghana, and she experienced a true eye-opener. As Mama Day recalls a 10-hour drive into the bush remote areas of Ghana, and Shanta, now comes the funny story, was not getting out of the vehicle to do her number one in the bush, but she held it for the entire duration of the trip. On arrival to the clinic, she had to go rain together. As your Navy and medical community, Dr. Jenkins has followed the words of Harriet Tubman. I was the conductor of the Underground Railroad for eight years, and I can say what most conductors can't say. I never ran my train off the track, and I never lost a passenger. Dr. Jenkins never lost a passenger. Now the last phase, or the ship, entrepreneurship. Now that Lieutenant Commander Jenkins is retiring at this very young age of 40, or as you know, the new 30, I'll close with her future and what's next. But first, she must have inherited, she must have inherited her business acumen from her grandfather, Samson Davis, who despite his second grade education and working as a sharecropper, he was a visionary. He was ahead of his time, as he would buy up cast iron artifacts and sell them as antiques, gained the nickname, The Junk Man. This entrepreneurship is in the DNA of Dr. Jenkins. How you ask? Well, first, Enchanta is an author of not one book, available on Amazon, with two more books to be released next month. And I believe Amazon is taking pre-orders. Also, she's a musical prodigy, releasing her first album in 2004, Gospel, and another one released in July 2016. I can see royalties here. Beyonce, watch out. We know Enchanta as spiritual, diligent, never tardy, kind-hearted, compassionate physician. And from her peers, the word quirky and introverted pops up. But don't let that soft-spoken demeanor fool you because she is a true American capitalist. Yes, an entrepreneur in the model of Adam Smith and Oprah Winfrey, a true shark that has a social impact. Upon com completion of her Master's of Healthcare at Bellevue University in 2008, Dr. Jenkins put this degree into practice as the CEO of LCAL, OBGYN Fallbrook, California. The practice model, caring for women in all phases of life. Dr. Jenkins, along with the administrative assistant, are using the latest health care to bring compassionate care solely for women. This next phase in Dr. Jenkins' journey is to bring compassion or is to bring all the experience of practicing overseas, working long hours, her military experience, and medical training into the community at large. Your future is bright as you enter the world of entrepreneurship and not only impacting your community, but continue to be a steward of the Navy values of honor, commitment, and courage. I'll leave you with these famous words from Maya Angelou. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And Lieutenant Commander Anshanta Jenkins, you made every one of your patients, friends, family, colleagues, feel very special through humanity and kindness. Isaiah 6.8 is fitting as I end this speech. And the Lord said, whom shall I send and who shall go for us? Then said I, here I am, send me. My wife and I are so glad to have met you, Anshante as you have been an integral uh, person in healing my spouse during a very difficult journey during her cancer therapy. So carry on, sailor. Fair winds and falling seas. God bless you, your family, the Navy Marine Corps, and all the war fighters who will continue to follow in your footsteps. And of course, God bless the United States of America. Thank you. This is to certify that the Navy has awarded the Navy and Marine Corps Accommodation Medal Gold Star in lieu of third award to Lieutenant Commander Chanta Jenkins, United States Navy with the following citation. 
for meritorious service in the superior performance of her duty while serving as staff physician, obstetrics and gynecology department, Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton, California, from August 2016 to May 2019. Lieutenant Commander Jenkins serves as facilitator for the communication and healthcare course, conducted training at four separate facilities, and contributed to the training of 800 staff members. As a Marine Corps defense expert witness, she testified and assisted as subject matter expert in three trials leading to prompt return of service members to duty. As champion for long acting reversible Sorry, it was cut off. <laughs> As champion for long acting reversible conception and, and working groups, she coordinated two training evolutions with, which enhanced unit readiness by decreasing unintentional pregnancies. Lieutenant Commander Jenkins' superior performance and duties is the hallmark of a career devoted to accomplishing years of honorable and dedicated service. Sign F.P. Pearson, Captain, Medical Service Corps, United States Navy, Commanding Officer. Certificate of Appreciation. For certain I extend to you your personal my personal thanks and the sincere appreciation of a grateful nation for your contribution of honorable service to our country. You have helped maintain the security of the nation during a critical time in its history with a devotion to duty and a spirit of sacrifice in keeping with the proud traditions of military service. Your commitment and dedication have been an inspiration for those who will follow in your footsteps. And for all Americans to join me today in saluting you for a job extremely well done. Best wishes to you for happiness and success in the future. Donald Trump, Commander in Chief. Lieutenant Commander Jenkins has also received numerous letters of appreciation, including President Bush and President Obama. Ushers, please escort Lieutenant Commander Jenkins' family to the stage. You see, she left you in order to ensure that you inherit a safer world, a surer peace. To those who say a single woman cannot make a difference, I say wrong. Your wife, mom, and daughter did. She made our Navy stronger and kept our Navy safe. With her service to the Navy now complete, she will be able to spend more time with you in the future. The United States Navy thanks Lieutenant Commander Jenkins and her family for enduring these separations. Given this day in the year of our Lord, sign Frank Pearson, Captain, Medical, Medical Corps, United States Navy, Commanding Officer, Naval Hospital, Camp Pendleton.
my head is held a little higher. My colors are a little truer. I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. Shiloh, Appomattox, San Juan Hill, the trenches of France, the Argonne Forest, Anzio, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, the jungles of Guam, Okinawa, Tarawa, Korea, Vietnam, and in the heat of the Persian Gulf, and a score of other places long forgotten by most, but well remembered by those who were there with me. I was there. I led my sailors and marines. I followed them. I watched over them. They loved me. I was on a small hill on Iwo Jima. I was at the ruins of the Pentagon and the World Trade Center. I was dirty, battle-torn, and tired. But my sailors and marines cheered me. I was proud. I have been soiled, burned, torn, and trampled on on the streets of countries that I have helped set free. It does not hurt, for I am invincible. I have been soiled, burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of my own country. And what is done by those with whom I have served in battle, it hurts. But I shall overcome, for I am strong. I have slipped the surly bonds of earth. And from my vantage point on the moon, I stand watch over the new frontiers of space. I have been silent witness to all of America's finest hours. When I fly at half-mast to honor my sailors and Marines, and when I rest in the trembling arms of her fallen son or daughter, I am proud my finest hour comes when I am torn into strips to be used as bandages for my wounded comrades on the field of battle. My name is Old Glory. Long may I wave, dear God. to her son, Marcus. The flag was flown over Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton on 13 May, 2019. ...me through my challenging times, me and my family. Thank you to my family. I love and appreciate you so much. You ground me, you support me, you impress me, you fuel me all at the same time. To those I have worked with, you are awesome. Thank you for the good work that you do every day. Together, we have impact. If you are a government service or a contractor, I encourage you to stay for a retirement. As I stand before you today, my soul is happy. Children, Marcus, Akela, Jordan, Elizabeth, Mommy is coming home to you. Thank you to everyone for coming out today to celebrate this neighbor tradition with my family and I. God bless you all. Post the side boys.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of the retirement certificate, benediction, and departure of the official party. To all who shall see these presents greeting, this is to certify that Lieutenant Commander Jenkins, Medical Corps, United States Navy, having served faithfully and honorably, was retired from the United States Navy on this day, 2019. two bells. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander, United States Navy, retired, departing. <laughs> 